What's happening everybody? Trey here and today at Reactions to the Classics, I'm going to be reacting to John Paul White and his cover of the uh, famous ELO tune, Can't Get It Out of My Head. I want to shout out our uh, longtime patron and supporter of the channel, Michaela, for suggesting this one for us to tackle today. I'm looking forward to it. I uh, enjoy the ELO version of the tune, which just as a reminder, um, it's from uh, the, the original by ELO. It was from their record, El Dorado, which was released in 74. Um, it, that song became their first top 10 single in the U.S., reaching number nine, and it, it kind of helped get them uh, a bit more popular here in the States. However, back in the UK, the single and LP failed to chart, so that's just interesting to note there. Um, Michaela noted on this that uh, it's this was from uh, the 6OC soundtrack, Covering Our Tracks, which was made up entirely of covers. Um, John's voice really lends itself to the melancholic and melodic nature of of the tune. Um, always like to read what the uh, the patrons have to say about the track, man. Shout out to the patrons for keeping the channel going, man. If you'd like to have me or someone at the channel react to a tune or an album for you, you can check that out down below. If you like this vid, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button, man. We're making that push to 15k. Really appreciate y'all. We're community driven here. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. A little bit about John Paul White. Uh, he's an American and was a member of uh, the duo The Civil Wars. He then restarted his solo career in 2016. Seems like uh, just kind of perusing his Wikipedia page that he, uh, he also appreciates the classics, man, and is uh, influenced by that. Uh, I couldn't find this on Spotify, so I found a nice YouTube version that we'll be listening to. I'm gonna kind of take that in, enjoy it, and then give my thoughts at the end. So thank you again, Michaela. Let's get a little John Paul White covering ELOs. Can't get it out of my head. Ocean's daughter Walking on a way she came Staring as she called my name And I can't get it out of my head No, I can't Great voice, man. I I'm loving the arrangement they did with this. On the shore, can There's an This will get you in your feels, man. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. Great use of the strings with that just acoustic and John's powerful voice. Dreams a world keeps spinning 
chorus is killer, y'all. John Paul White taking a stab at ELO's Can't Get It Out of My Head, and I'm gonna say he did a phenomenal job. What a great cover of this tune. Um, obviously, the highlight for me is um, is gonna be that arrangement where um, you have ELO's version, which, uh, you know, I, the, it's been a minute since I've listened to it, I believe. It has that piano, and uh, it has that Jeff Lynn production touch, very lavish and lush here. Here on John Paul White's version, he kind of stripped that back. We had some strings, um, and we had uh, his acoustic guitar going, and then just his powerful voice, and it was a, a bit minimalistic, and um, that added to steal from Michaela's description to the melancholic nature of the tune, man. And uh, I thought the pacing of the track was uh, was wonderful, and this is a song that really uh, does kind of get you get you thinking. I think the the chorus itself is just uh, just marvelous, and I can't get it out of my head. No, I can't get it out of my head. Now my old world is gone for dead because I can't get it out of my head. Whatever that is for us, whether that's um, a, a situation, a, a lover, um, um, uh, something that happened to us that um, wronged us, uh, whatever the case may be, something we should have done, whatever we can't get out of our heads, man, um, that has changed our world forever, so to speak. Um, I, I think that um, John Paul White was able to really bring that uh, that emotional intensity that a song like this um, really uh, uh, doesn't need per se, but he, he kind of reimagined it from the ELO version, I think, and um, uh, really just uh, dove into that, that sad nature of it. And I thought it was uh, quite moving, and uh, his voice just phenomenal I, I like that whenever guys just go with the the acoustic man and uh the, you, you can't hide behind anything in that uh in that avenue and setting and he he just uh he knocked it out of the absolute park man i just really enjoyed that tune i'm gonna have to go and listen to elo's uh <laughs> version now and uh, see which one i like better because uh i, I thought he just he absolutely uh, uh, killed it, and um, the like I said, man, the pacing of the track just seemed to, to fit quite quite nicely, and uh, that that stripped back nature, man, was a uh, was welcome, and I, I think what the song needed for his interpretation, man. So he's on my radar. Uh, let me know, y'all, in the comments below any other tracks from him I need to check out, as well as what you thought of this version, and uh, be sure to give Michaela some love in the comments below for. Uh, for putting him on a RTTC's radar right here. Uh, thank you as always, Michaela. Thanks to everybody for watching. And until next time, I will see ya.